one of the most common questions we get from people is, how do I get the time to start investing in myself? I have a job. I'll kick off the answer with one of the tweets from the cutting room floor, where you said, Akira. You will need to rent your time to get started. You will need to rent your time to get started. This is only acceptable when you are learning and saving. You will need to rent your time to get started. You're gonna have to work starting out unless you happen to be born rich, in which case you probably won't have the motivation to make money in the first place. If you're gonna do the work, join a business where apprenticeship matters. Warren Buffett went and tried to work for Benjamin Grant straight out of school to learn how to be a value investor, and he offered to work for free, and Ben Grant said, You're one of the most coveted jobs that's come up in Silicon Valley is being a chief of staff or an entrepreneur. The brightest young kids will follow the CEO or the entrepreneur around and do whatever that person needs them to do. In many cases, they were overqualified for the position. You may have someone who has two graduate degrees running the CEO's laundry for that day because that's the most important thing that needs to be done. But at the same time, they're also going to be sitting in all the highest end staff meetings. They're going to be privy to all the venture fundraising decks, all the stress and drama, theatrics, innovation, and knowledge that can only come from being next to the entrepreneur. Because the entrepreneur is willing to do anything and everything to make their company successful. And the chief of staff is company that I'm learning. You will need to rent your time to get started. You will need to rent your time to get started. This is only acceptable when you are learning and saving. You will need to rent your time to get started. If you are currently stuck in a normal job and you don't have the opportunity to learn an apprenticeship model and you need to make money, then go ahead, go ahead, do that job. But even within the context of that job, try to be innovative, sign up to take on new challenges, new responsibilities, find the part of the job that has the steepest learning curve. What you're really trying to avoid is repetitive drudgery. Repetitive drudgery doesn't serve anybody. Then you're essentially just counting the time until your job is automated away. Even if you're a barista at the coffee shop, try to figure out how to make connections with the customers. Try to figure out how to innovate on what you're offering them and your basic service and delight the customer. What will happen is managers, founders, owners, they notice. The hardest thing for any founder is to find people who will work with them who have founder mentality. And that's just a fancy way of saying they care enough. But most people will say, well, I'm not the founder. I'm not being paid enough to care. Actually, you are. The knowledge and the skills that you gain by having founder mentality set you up to be a founder down the line, and it pays you in that sense. You can get a lot out of almost any position you just have to put a lot into it. You will need to rent your time to get started. You will need to rent your time to get started. This is only acceptable when you are learning and